What's up people on the interwebs, hope you're having a great day and um, please excuse my face uh, I went out yesterday to help with a festival for one of the schools and I was dumb I mean I did put sunscreen on in the morning but I did not uh, realise we were going to be outside all day so my face is semi burnt but be okay, it's fine I just kind of look like I've just gone for a run or I'm just like a little bit flushed but we are fine, we are good, we're getting there because I'm done and September is still hot. Hoping it's not too dark for you but I noticed with my big light on uh, there was too much light flooding the camera so I was getting a slight uh, flicker so I just turned it off and annoyingly the lowest my light setting was still doing the flickering so I'm hoping from the natural sunlight the room's looking okay, it's looking okay, it's a little on the darker side but should be fine. So. My first one is someone asked me, is there water in Japan? And the amount of, sort of eye flickers I gave this person is just nuts because no, there's no water in Japan. Everyone just drinks green tea. No, of course there's water in Japan. It's just completely such a bonkers question to get from someone, is there water in Japan? Literally, questions like that, I just kind of look at someone and I'm like, you need to leave the country, you need to go explore the world a bit more, you need to get yourself educated of what are in other cultures because there is water in Japan. So the next one is someone asked me, and this one, it happens all the time depending uh, where you're going and it shouldn't happen but people do it all the time, but they, I had so many people go to me, oh so when are you going to China, when are you moving to China? I just took it there and go, I'm not going to China, I'm moving to Japan. A completely different country. The amount of times people get uh, Japan mixed with China, it's honestly shocking. And, you know, for the Japanese people, it's pretty very annoying for them as well because Japan, they don't have the best relationship with China. You know, I see the Japan and China relationship like how the English like the French, you know. They just don't like each other. Is definitely very annoying and very annoying for what, moving to Japan and probably very annoying if you are a Japanese person and if someone did say to you oh when you are uh, going back to your homeland of China so it's just very much like eye rolls of come on look at the map learn the difference and you'll do great so again another person where I just see as you need to go out and explore more and the last one was, see this is, I have a few people like this, but the second you tell someone you're moving to another country, you automatically become the expert of said country, even though you are not an expert. You know, I'm still learning new things about Japan every day, but to the people at home, you become the automatic expert. And someone asked me, oh, what is up with Japan and tentacle porn? And you know, I don't know, Japan is Japan, we don't address the things we don't understand. So yeah, it's very like semi-annoying for for some questions if I know it, my happy dancer, but some of it I'm like, I don't know, Japan be Japan. And if we don't address it, you know, even in Japan, you know, there's a lot of like, you go to the convenies, there's like porn magazines, and it's just, people learn just to ignore it and you don't, look at it and, and that's kind of the Japan culture, it's there, you don't look, you just kind of get on with your daily life. So yeah, Japan be Japan, but yeah, for some of these questions, all I can kind of do is laugh a little bit and my mind's also like, you need to open a book, learn about the world, see what's there, because you really just kind of need to see more exposure. But yeah, those are the few silly comments I've had before I moved to Japan. Let me know in the comments if you had any silly comments of going to Japan for a holiday or moving or even if you've moved to another country and someone's given you silly comments about that said country. You know, I'd love to know in the comments down below but let me know if you have enjoyed this video, do the likes, comments, all that stuff. If you want to stay up to date please make sure to subscribe to see more Japan related content and I will see you in the next Japan video. Bye!